Chow Chow, dog breed characteristics or care and price. The Chow Chow is a medium to large-sized non-sporting dog breed from China that is known for its lion-like or bear-like appearance and blue-black tongue. This reserved and independent dog may have a rough or smooth coat. Rough-coated Chows have a soft, woolly undercoat and a medium-length topcoat that is straight, dense, coarse, and very full. They have longer hairs, feathering, on the legs and tail, and a thick, long mane around the head and neck. Smooth Chows also have a double coat, but it is much shorter. Though the breed sometimes has a reputation for being aggressive, most Chows are faithful, calm dogs that make excellent companions. Breed Overview Group, Non-Sporting Height, 17 to 20 inches at the shoulder Weight, 40 to 70 pounds Coat, Rough or Smooth, Double Coat Coat Color, Black, Blue, Cinnamon, Cream, or Red Lifespan, 8 to 12 years. Temperament, aloof, independent, loyal, quiet, calm. Hypoallergenic, no. Origin, China. Price, $500 to $8,000. Characteristics of the Chow Chow. The Chow Chow is a smart, independent, and sometimes aloof dog that tends to have a dominant and protective nature. The Chow Chow is definitely not the right breed for everyone, everyone, but can be an excellent addition to the right home. This breed can work out well as a watchdog or guard dog. The Chow Chow tends to be a one-person dog, focusing its loyalties on the main owner. However, with proper training and socialization, the breed can get along with all family members, including children, though a home with older kids will be a better fit. History of the Chow Chow The Chow Chow is a native of China and among the most ancient of all dog breeds, dating back as early as 206 BC DNA analysis shows Chows are in the branch that includes the Sharpe, Shiba Inu, and Akita, and are distinct from the lineage of all other dogs. They were used as temple guards in Asia. Though today's Chow is a member of the non-sporting group, the breed was actually used for hunting over 2,000 years ago, as shown on bar leaf carvings. This breed was called by several names in China, none of which were Chow Chow. In the late 1700s, English merchants brought miscellaneous cargo from the Far East that they had called Chow Chow. Because the dogs were sometimes a part of that cargo, the name eventually caught on. Queen Victoria helped popularize the breed and a breed club was formed in England in 1895. Chows were brought to the U.S. in the late 1800s and were officially recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1903. President Calvin Coolidge had two Chows in the White House. Home guru Martha Stewart has had two Chows that made television appearances on her lifestyle programs. Chow Chow Care this beautiful, devoted, and smart dog breed is beloved by many and can be an endearing companion. However, Chow Chows can often show aggression towards dogs of the same sex and, with their hunting background, may have a prey instinct directed towards cats and other small pets. As such, it is best that a Chow Chow only is brought into a multi-pet household as a puppy and raised with good attention to socialization so the dog accepts the other pets. Exercise While not overly active or high-energy dogs, Chows still need routine exercise to stay healthy and happy. A couple of 15 to 30-minute walks per day is a good place to start. 
They are not fans of vigorous romps, however. When exercising your chow, remember that it can tolerate cold weather well, but it does not do well in hot weather. The dog will need a cool place, preferably indoors, when it is hot. Grooming Regardless of what type of coat your chow chow has, routine basic grooming is essential. You will need to brush your dog two to three times per week. However, the rough coat variety will need much more maintenance to avoid tangles and matting. Chow shed a lot twice a year during a change of the seasons, and extra maintenance is necessary at these times, but generally, the rest of the time, the shed rate is low. You will also want to trim your dog's nails every couple of weeks if they do not get worn down from activity. It is also good to pay attention to dental hygiene and brush your dog's teeth two to three times per week. Training This breed needs an assertive owner who will provide discipline, socialization, and a solid foundation of obedience training. Poorly trained chows might act territorial and unfriendly, which unfortunately perpetuates the stereotype that they are aggressive by nature. Your chow needs to know that you are the boss in the household. 